Memories of the uh, March 12th and 13th, 1993, Superstorm, Storm of the Century, Blizzard of the Century, uh, whatever you, name you want to give it, uh, on this, the 25th anniversary of that event in 2018. Uh, at the time, uh, I was working in the National Weather Service office at uh, Birmingham, which was located on Oxmoor Road across from Barber Dairy. And um, at that time, we were using the LFM, also referred to sometimes as the Little Funny Model, and we were using the NGM, also referred to sometime as the no good model. But the NGM pegged this event and the storm system that brought record-breaking snow to Alabama. The National Weather Service extended forecast. Back in those days, we had a forecast, which only went out uh, basically two or three days. And then we had an extended forecast, which went out from four days uh, through about the fifth day. The extended forecast that uh, began mentioning the potential for snow on Monday, five days before the actual event occurred. Now, every square inch of Alabama experienced some snow. In fact, I observed thunder snow that Friday evening from my house in Helena. In fact, one of the lead forecasters and I were working together on a snow forecasting technique referred to as the magic chart. The magic chart was a technique that was being used uh, for uh, stations, weather service offices across the northern tier of the United States. And the technique used the 12-hour vertical displacement chart overlaid with the 850 millibar temperature prog that began uh, at the start of the 12-hour vertical displacement period. The heaviest snowfall was predicted in the area of greatest net vertical displacement that was bounded by the minus 3 to minus 5 degrees centigrade area. Within the defined area, the net vertical dis displacement gave a 12-hour rainfall estimate. Using that technique, Thursday and early Friday, before the event produ produced the estimates of 12 to 15 inches. Now, I want to tell you, those amounts were generally dismissed as just about being impossible, since at that time, of course, the record was 11 inches, which was about to be shattered. A round of scattered snow showers uh, and some uh, uh, of the snow turning to rain uh, in the late morning on Friday, March the 12th, and we handled a lot of calls that afternoon about how we'd missed the forecast that that wasn't really going to occur. Of course, uh, starting about 5 to 6 p.m., uh, everybody changed their tune on that as snow began and continued into uh, March 13th on Saturday. We came very close to blizzard conditions in central Alabama with heavy snow, and wind gusting to over 45 miles an hour. As a matter of fact, the heavy wet snow as well as the wind produced a great deal of power outages around the area. Initial forecast by the NWS forecasters and in our official forecast started out with two to four inches of snow, but those numbers were gradually raised with each additional issuance until finally on Friday evening when uh, we just basically put in the forecast more than six inches expected. The National Weather Service at that time was located on Oxmoor Road across from Barber's Dairy, and like most, they were snowed in. Around noon on Saturday, March the 13th, uh, I got a phone call that you just don't want to get that they just plain run out of food. Now, what was interesting was uh, the midnight shift came in early, and of course, the evening shift, it wasn't snowing when they arrived around 4 p.m. on Friday. So the two shifts were basically there and stuck. Uh, traffic was at a complete standstill. You just couldn't go anywhere. But they'd run out of food. So I was able to find a small convenience store in my area that was open, and I purchased about $40 worth of food. Now the question was, how do you get it there? Well, I embarked on a, a trip that typically would take me about 22 miles to get from my house to the office. And um, that trip, which normally took about 25 to 30 minutes, but the interstates were completely blocked by jackknifed 18-wheelers, so I had to take other surface roads. And that trip took nearly two and a half hours. And once I reached the NWS office, I had another obstacle, and that was there was a drift blocking the entrance to the parking lot that was over four feet high. I, uh, I did have four-wheel drive at that time, so I backed up a little bit onto Oxmoor Road and gunned the gas and plowed into the uh, four-foot drift. And for a moment, the car lifted up, and I thought, oh, boy, now I'm going to really be stuck. And then all of a sudden, we broke through the drift into the parking lot. And so I was able to deliver the food. Now, Valleydale Road, or 261, uh, down in Pelham, right below the Pelham High School, had over six feet of snow uh, covering that road. Due to the drifting, as west wind uh, came across the, the field of the Bearden Farms area and blew that snow off those fields, depositing it on the roadway as the wind went up the hill toward the high school. 
Now, snow amounts across the area varied significantly, with many locations across southern Jefferson and northern Shelby counties seeing 15 to 20 inches of snow. Now, the official amount at the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport was 13 inches, which broke the old record of 11 inches that had been set quite some time back. Great memories of a very fantastic event.